Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Uh, here's the Hawks and the Spurs. And credit these Spurs, man. I mean, you know what? Uh, they might suck, but when you got Pop, I'm sure the energy's there, right? I mean, it probably Pop's probably having the time of his life coaching coaching up these guys. And uh, they're being rewarded a little bit here at the end of the season with some success. I think it's a credit to the coaches, to the coaching staff and the players of the Spurs. They are getting nine and a half points here, the total 243. Yeah, I mean, Goosey, who that nation had the oh. same issue. With the Warriors. I don't know what's going on, Warriors. But, yeah, this is our second uh, big miss parlay with the Warriors team in it today. Darn it. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the Spurs. Why not? They've been covering. Uh, both teams 1-2 and two over their last three Spurs, 4-1 and one in their last five games following a loss. Um, I'm going to hope they cover here again today. Taking the Spurs. Okay, Mindy, on those Spurs today, I'm going to take them with you. Nine and a half points? Come on. Taking the Spurs in this one with you. I already just talked them all up, right, about how they're uh, uh, doing it. And yeah, I mean, we saw uh, some of the comments, of, you know, uh, with Pop. And, uh, you know, who could we see? We know who I think we might see replace uh, Popovich, but uh, you know who you're talking about. Yeah, we'll see if it happens. Uh, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I know we've seen some comments, but uh, doesn't sound like he's tired of doing it. He's tired of doing it. Here's Goosey said the Spurs. Thomas said the Spurs. Ron's fading them. Jamal says Hawks and over. Hawks would need a double digit win here on the road. Aaron, you're not crazy. These are the times, you know, look, I'm not into Tankapalooza right now because, look, remember, those bottom three, those teams, they, they, yeah, there's a different, you know, the ping pong ball. But that, you know, ping pong balls kind of change things too a little bit. doesn't ensure anything. Yeah, you want to get in that, you want to, I don't want to say you want to get in that bottom three, but, I mean, you know, once you're in the bottom three. So, hey, look, uh when you're out there, I mean, especially today's cutthroat, cut and dry, get your contract, get your money, right? You need to you need to show out. Now, I know that the coaches can manipulate things a little bit if they're looking for draft picks, putting different players and lineups in, if you will. But man, if you're out there, you gotta get you gotta get your bag. Right. So I have no problem taking teams like the Spurs here today. Jim wants to go over in this one. Look, uh, we called it last. I, did I actually get that one? I said, oh, this game's going to be 270 points. What, what game was that? It was pretty close. 270, and I think it almost did, but then it slowed down right at the end. So let's see here. I think it was uh, Raptors, right? Maybe. No, I don't know if it was because, uh, okay, Turner taking the points with us. Spurs here for Ziggy. Let's go, Spurs. Oh, Jim says, uh, I think he's saying under under here. Uh, I don't know about uh, Jim. I liked your first pick. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem like any of these. And and look, look, the moves on the under, the, the steams come in on the under. It might only create value. It seems like what I've been talking about is all these 245s end up going under, and maybe this one will too. But, man, if it is, uh, it's not even going to be uh, close, uh, I would think. Uh, I, you know, To me, I don't know. Uh, 270 points wouldn't be out of the question. That's what I said on a game yesterday. I don't remember what it was. So, <laughs> okay. All right, Mindy, give us the Spurs. We're on two games here so far. So now you know who I like. You know who I like money line for the next coach of the Spurs. Um, I like the first female coach to come in and be the first female coach in NBA history, Becky Hammond. 
All right, Calvin says the under here, I think, in this one. All right, let's move on. I think Pop gets to choose the coach. Maybe Pop, you know, still going to probably be uh, retirement maybe. Pop seems like the type of guy that maybe when he retires would walk away from the game. Or maybe he stays with the organization too, especially if Hammond is named head coach and uh, see if he can't make uh, her a great coach. Wouldn't it be interesting if she were to replace him and, uh, you know, coach for 10 or 20 years or something like that? That'd be amazing. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.